Well, no, no, we have to start what we've spoken about so many times before this season, and that's decisions that looked as if you were going to get and didn't get. What were your opinion of three decisions today? Bad decisions, poor decisions. It's uh, difficult after you lose a, a match and you speak about referees. It looks like an excuse and all these things. And our, our fans are going to see it and say, oh, look at the coach speaking about uh, prepare the team. But all these things, OK, that's my responsibility. The, the, the question that you made is regarding the, the, the work of the referees. So I have to say it's a poor work, not only today, but before. We've been punishing, punished by poor decisions, not only by the refs, but VAR or so, they have time to assess. I saw the images, I saw it over and over again. It's a clear, clear penalty on Gio Reyna by Ashley Young. It's an end ball. Okay. It's a penalty on Callum because he's in front, he's been touched. So someone tell me why they didn't give us. And you see in other games the same referees with different situations and they decide the other way. Yeah, very frustrating. The club yeah. has obviously put out a very strong statement virtually on the final whistle and also suggested that they suspected something might happen beforehand because they asked for the VAR Stuart Atwell to be removed from the game. Yeah, I'm aware of that, of that uh, complaint. It's a formal complaint. PGMO didn't see, didn't, didn't see the same way as, as us, but it's here to see. It's a poor work on the, ref the referee. So they should go home and assess and say, OK, my bad. Anthony Taylor should assume and say, my bad. was bad decisions. Stuart Atwell, is he a fan of Luton or not? I don't care, but is he is there, there to do his job? He has time, he's sitting in a chair. Tell me why they didn't give it. Then comes the letter from, from them asking, OK, the panel decides you were right, bad decisions. OK, how many points? We should have, have more. We don't know what's going to get. But there are clear moments, not only in these games, that everything can change. Everything can change. Yeah. Okay. In, in this game today, particularly, because if you get one of those penalties, I mean, I know you've got to score them, but then it becomes a different game in, in the second half if you can get level at, at, with one of those. Totally, 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 totally. We played, we had some chances. We didn't play as good as we wanted. We conceded goals from long range, but we were, were there in the box. Gio Ren is a clear one, clear one, column, handball, all these things. You can change things. We never know what's going to happen after that. Then you assess in the end and say, why? But the point, the main point is trying to understand when we are at home, we see matches and we see decisions and by the referee and by VAR say, okay, let's have a hope. If something happens to Forest, they will decide the same way. So they decide a different way. Why, Colin? Tell me why. If someone to explain to me, it's not contact on Gio Reyna. It's a penalty. Why? Why? And you see on previous games, the same referee with similar situations giving penalties. So, I mean, it, it, this is, it's a very hard thing to prove, but, but are you thinking now it's happened so many times, not only today, but, but going back as well, it, it, you're starting to think the unthinkable, that there's conspiracy here? If we were in another country, if we were in another country, for sure that, that will, will come up. What about today's game itself? Yeah. I mean, the, you've had your chances. I mean, it's a similar story in many ways. Firstly, the decisions to what's gone on previously. You've had good chances, not taken them and then been punished. Yeah, it's a little bit the story of the game. I think we started very well the game, very well the game. The first moments, the four chances are, uh, we are playing, we, we knew we were able to control control Everton. We had some moments that we could and should decide and finish better, but um, we allowed poor goals from long range. We controlled everything on set pieces, so everybody was picking, we, we, the boys were strong on that, on that moment. Um, but in the second half, I think we should have done better. Um, there was a moment in the end of the games we tried, okay, to change a little bit, put uh, the strikers. We didn't recognize, so we felt like we didn't had enough arguments to to, to bounce back from from the result. Um, so that's my responsibility. So we'll try. We'll try now to work. We have four games to go. It's it's it's, it's in our ends. It's in our ends to to do the job. Let's try to stick together, try to forget and ignore the noise, wait this decision on, on this week on, on appeal, regroup and play the four games game by game.
as I say, it is a precarious position at, at, at the bottom of the table. You just touched on it there. Um, do you sense, it's still in your hands, you're outside the relegation zone. Do you sense that your players have got enough over the last four games to keep you there, to keep you out of that relegation zone? Of course, of course, of course. I think we cannot say nothing to the character and the uh, fighting of our players. They give everything that, that they have. Sometimes they play good, sometimes they play not so good, but the spirit and the, the will and the commitment is there. And that's what we have to hold on to. I suppose if you've got a, a level playing field. Sorry? If you've got a level playing field, if you get decisions that you expect yeah, to get. Yeah, everything will be different. And then let's wait on the appeal. Do we have 30 points or do we have 26? Let's wait and see.